So last week we saw about XPath. So today we are going to start with our CSS selector. So anyone has any questions on the XPath and then how to use it and then how to find it? Anyone has any questions on last week? Any questions for anyone? As everyone started to practice on that so that it will be easy for you to remember. Otherwise it will be tough. I'm very sure. Cool. Uh, okay, uh, let me put it in this way. Can everyone ping me in the chat room? Yes, if you're clear about the X path. Everyone, just reply yes. Yes, in the chat window, in, if you're clear about the X path. Okay, Yashvi Bhargavi replied, Jay Prakash replied. Yeah, yeah, please practice. Because once you practice, things will be easier, Jay, Jay Prakash. Yeah, yeah, good. Good that actually what uh, you guys need to practice. Yeah, that's correct. But if you understood the concept, that is more than enough for me. But the practice should be done immediately not by next week or something so it's like actually what you have to do it then and there then it will be easy for you xpath and css yeah yes jay prakash you have a doubt uh jay prakash you have a doubt you can unmute from i have yes jay prakash i i can you like you know see i have tried uh, this particular path uh, can you open cleartrip.com uh, and uh, if you type this particular thing? Cleartrip? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. In my location, I'm unable to open. Oh, yeah. Can you type my, you know, the path which I have did? Okay. Just a minute. This is the place. This is the window, right? Page? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, no matching notes. Uh, no, I like, you know, I tried from Hyderabad to Delhi and I picked a date. After that, you know, I got this particular thing. Okay, so what do you need to do? Uh, you have to tell me what I need to do in the page. Oh, yeah. It's a, can you go to from Hyderabad to Delhi? Okay. Hyderabad to Delhi, right? Yeah pick any date and just go for search price yes please okay see now the second one it's coming around six thousand four hundred and eighty four rupees right okay this is what In you're my talking. yeah i tried for that my doubt is only one thing in okay. li2 li2 how do you think like you know do, I have to mention that or else I cannot go till there. Is that correct which I did it? Correct, correct. LA2 is the best. Because why means you're trying to find the second flight, right? Yeah, but the thing is in future if someone changes the site, then uh -huh. the whole uh, particular path will break, right? Okay, I'll tell you the reason. Why you have to press uh, use a second flight. So, in real-time industry, uh, sorry, the real-time situation, Okay, you yeah. cannot go by the name of the flight or name of uh, by the time. Those things will not be common. This will be always yeah. changing. Uh, no, I got that. But the thing is, Li2 will not change as per your... That's what I, 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 yeah. Let me complete first so that you'll have an idea. Sure. Okay. Yeah. So, by name of the flight or the by the time or by the price or by the hours, you cannot find a flight information. Why? Because this all will be dynamically changing so tomorrow it will be different day after tomorrow will be different over there so our intention the real time situation is what means we have to check whether the price is coming or i need to click on the book button or i want to check whether the name of the flight is coming all those things so these these are my intention so always we try to pick choose actually what the first element or the second element Okay, that is what my condition always in the real-time situation. Take the first or the second information 
and then try to do an action. So okay. now the intention is actually what? Why I'm saying it's best to take a late tool. Okay, so I'll come here. See here. Yeah? So the LA tag represents actually what? My entire information, see? My entire information, correct? So it's always safer to take actually what? This LA of the second tag. If you want to go for the first one, go for the LA of first tag, okay? okay. So this will not be changed, okay? If they are changing means it will be like actually but very rare chance they might be changing it. I cannot say 100% they will not change. There might be okay. some but the UI they might be entirely they might be changing it right. So that time these informations will be changed. Okay. Otherwise okay. I can always expect actually what this LA tags will be always present. Got it? That answers your yeah. question? Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. And one more thing, right now. So you want the price information, correct? So for that, yeah. you went for the this uh, the th tag, which is having a class yeah. as price. So this choosing is actually what perfect, correct? But what is the original information you have to take? So if I, you have to go for this, uh, oh sorry, sorry, yeah, got it. You're, you're correct. Okay, the price is there under the th tag only. So if you see guys, uh, a good, it's correct. So th tag is there, it starts here and then ends here and then the closure is here. So this price belongs to the th tag only because the span tag starts here and then after that it closes here, the closure is here. So this price belongs to the th tag, yes correct. So th is the information they are creating. So if I put there, Just give me a minute actually, I'm not sure why this is not identifying. It's taking the ID, but for what reason it's not taking is this just again. I'll go to the HTML level and then identify it. ID level it's identifying. The class is what I need. Okay, yeah. Cool. Okay, from the fire path window, when I open that, it's not able to get it. Got it. Okay. So I identify in the HTML section view level, I'm able to identify. It's correct. Okay. Yes, it's correct, man. Perfectly correct. Whatever you're written, like that's a perfect one. Uh, Muruli, I have one one question on this. Yes, Bhargavi. Uh, 
yeah displaying like identifying the tags is okay but uh, how about the clicking on the buttons uh, murali this book button yes so so simple the thing is actually what right now if you want to click on the book button so td tag that comes for it okay so the la of two as usual okay so i'll go for the second one as usual children huh? so la tag correct then in that if you see there is a tr tag which is holding my entire information so in that tr tag we have the td then it has a button okay so what i can do over here means so already has written that okay i have closed it so i'll just take the same thing which jay prakash has given to me i'll take that so instead of descendant i am going to use double forward slash so for my easy convenient that's one thing so la of 2 we got it okay in that la of 2 if i come little bit down table t body then tr tag td and then you will la of 2 so we are right now in the la of 2 correct yes then after that if you see in that a tag lot of informations are there okay there are 47 matches are there okay here right now you should not be like 47 matches over there so this should be changed it should be one match no more yeah yeah yes correct now that's okay you will okay let me write from my side this is the button from there i'll come to this place you will tag okay i'll take from here start from here let me check whether it is fine double forward slash you will tag at the rate class is equal to list view flights so now it's two matching nodes so one is this the another one might be there this is the second one so the second one is mine okay so i'll open this one and two the second one is holding my information so i will also find whether actually what is there any other way that i can skip that so this is matching with that okay some other before they would have used and then they would have removed that ui content it is still lagging the code level. open that you will tag okay this you will stack starts and then ends here it does not have any li tag or something like that okay so no worries when i go further i will be getting only this information only cool then after that directly forward slash li of 2 now i get my perfect second flight in that if i go the table tag the div tag the table is what holding my information then the second t body then after that one and two three so hopefully the second tr might have my information one two three yes correct the td tag then after the inside that one we have actually what button class booking okay i can take this class booking otherwise actually what the text information but the text information has lot of uh, free spaces here i will try to take this information that will be the best forward slash button if you see button is perfectly only one match so to be in a precise way i will also give booking now perfectly i got my book clear for everyone so here we are only identifying the first flight book button we are not navigating to the next page uh, right now second flight is what i identify what is that uh, going for the second page you you told that um, uh, like in the la last session you told that uh, we you we um, 
we'll identify the buttons then we'll navigate uh, to the next page and uh, uh, validation will happen so Correct. that all happens where in my selenium level okay so right now we are finding the xpath we are in the basic level right yeah so we will only identify the buttons tags and the labels only uh, with the xpath right correct okay okay right yeah yeah Mali. any questions for anyone guys anyone has any questions Murli. yeah any question yeah can you, scroll, can you scroll up to ul the parent the yes parent one? yes this one okay so the ul tag is holding my entire flights view okay in that the first la tag is holding my first flight the second la the second flight third flight so that's why we took la of two so that get me the second flight information got it got it right good anyone has hi yes but i have i have one more thing um, yes. could you please open expedia.com okay I tried one thing like couple, I spent a like couple of hours and I still couldn't get that thing. Okay, sure. We'll see. Is that correct? The URL? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Click on flights. Yeah. Okay. Put origin FSD. Uh, just a minute. It's loading. Give me a minute. Okay. And thank you for help. No, no, that's okay. Is I want like this only. I want you guys to practice and then come up with the doubts. That's F good. FST. FST. D D as in dog. Oh sorry, F S D. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Let's go to uh, O R D. O R D. Okay. Choose anything. The first one. This yep. one. Yeah. Okay. And let's put tomorrow's date and day after tomorrow's date. Nineteen and the twenty. Yes. Okay, click search. Yeah. Okay. Now I need to find that six hundred eighty-five dollar one, the second one. This one. Cool. Yeah. So okay, let it load first. Then after that we will. Yeah. This six eighty-five is what you want. Yes. Okay. Right now this. It's in disable mode. Okay. Okay, are you in I, Firefox? According to me, this yeah, yeah, I'm in Firefox. Okay, you, you have to open in Google Chrome. I don't know Firefox has a problem. Okay. Even I was I was not able to open make my trip.com in Firefox today. Okay, got it. Well, we'll open here. Yes, now it's clear. Okay, so now we want this 685. Mm -hmm. So, okay, let it load, then we start to write it. Okay, so let me open, right click, inspect, then I will inspect, then 685. So before writing this, I want to find the common parent. So I'll go here to a little bit top, this div tag, this div. This LA. So here also actually what they have the LA. So okay. That, so here also the LA. So the second LA gives me the information of the second. So the UL flights module is just there. So we'll start from here. Uh, you want to try? Uh, you want to try Bharat? Yes. Cool. So <clears throat> can you tell me? Uh, what yeah. Dollar sign. Dollar X. Yeah. And uh, put to yeah. Forward yes. slash, forward slash. Yes. <coughs> Two forward slash. <coughs> yes. Okay, and what's the name? Uh, yes, I'll show you. Okay. 
you have no. yes Shubhan. and then what is the property you're trying to take here at the rate id equals to yes id is equal to the value of it mm -hmm. so now it's actually what perfectly a single match so it's holding my entire information so now i want to go to the second flight now tell me what i need to do now let's you yes. need to go to the our second one li yes correct so yep. the only changes i need to do li2 forward slash, forward slash li of. square bracket two. so if you see now it's 20 matches are there that is one yep. two three like that i want the perfect second matches square bracket two yep lf2 so, so now we'll confirm yes i came mm -hmm. to my perfect li so mm -hmm. from there now we'll try to fetch on to the this 685 is there any sorry the second one so first we have the h3 tag we don't want that the div tag yes the div tag can stop the div next again div in that there are two divs so this second div is what holding information div div and then this div then this okay. pattern so it's like actually what can you tell me anything that i can take it here from this place so the thing is this pan tag is what my information holding my price correct mm -hmm. is that any property which is related to the functionality here can you tell me any property in the span tag is related to the functionality that i can take Can can we take div? Uh, no, no. Uh, div is actually what the parent. Yeah, we can take from the parent and also I can come to the child. Yeah. So my intention is this is span tag is my uh, final uh, what are they? My tag. So mm -hmm. this span tag, what are the attributes it has? Class. Class, and then data mm -hmm. test ID. ID. So. Okay, now see the value of the tags and then check whether anything that is related to the functionality of that dollar 685 so first one value is what full bold no bra is that anything giving me an information here to the functionality level no no next thing is what listing price Five. dollars so what is that I'm trying to find here? Dollar 685 itself? Price. Is a price of that flight. So is this related to a functionality I can say? Yep. So I can take this one. Correct, right? So mm -hmm. listing price dollars I can take. I can take the full information also. Otherwise I can take actually what? The medium. So it's like now I will say actually what this is good. Listing price dollars is a good one to take. So I'm going to do like this la of two directly double forward slash span tag at the rate id is equal to my value uh, let me confirm sorry it's not id it's data test id right so it is data test id now if you see is that matching my information so we got it and should back what I did. So what is that 685? Uh, the 685 is what we are. Uh, can you see when I mouse over? Span. It's yeah, okay, yeah. 685. Can you see? Yes. So we got it. So aren't we supposed to see 685 over there? Uh, here. No, no. Here actually what it's just actually what gives me the uh, HTML tag information only. So. Oh, okay only when i go to my so this is my firefox so they have actually what an option here so if i paste oh, this okay. same tag here uh, so only in firefox it, it throws error i mean a result right uh, no no it's not like that so can you see that okay yeah mm -hmm. the view x path will give me the ui information of the element Got it. Okay. The same thing. Fire path 
and then after that this console window and all gives me the html information okay the okay. Will drop information uh, but actually we are very soon actually what we will be getting the crow path the crow path actually what they have already introduced in the chrome but still it's actually what not in a good shape to use so that's why i am not going with that like right. x path we have crow path in actually what chrome uh, mm. But it's still not actually what I will suggest because it's not full and full working. That's why I'm not going with that. Thank you, Marley. Okay, good. Good guys. Um, so anyone has anything you guys have tried, you wanna try it now? Uh, I think actually what instead of trying uh, CSS today, it's good actually what if you guys have tried something and then I will try to resolve it. That also is a good one. Anyone wanna try anything? Okay, oh, uh, cool. Then we'll start with CSS. We'll have a five minutes break. Okay, eight ten we will again connect, and then we'll just see the basics of CSS. Then tomorrow we'll go in in depth deep dive. Okay, yes, cool. Thank you. We'll again meet by eight ten, a five minutes break. Thank you. Bye guys.
Hey guys, so we'll start the session. Okay, so today we are going to start with actually what? CSS selector. So, CSS selector actually what? The same as like our XPath, okay? But it's actually what? Faster compared to the XPath here. So if your XPath actually what? Takes around actually what? Uh, one second for to identify an element. CSS selector will take half of the time. Okay, it's so much faster compared to the XPath here. Okay, that's why actually what people actually what they use CSS selector, but actually what still most of them they don't use because they don't know how to use CSS selector. That's the actually what major disadvantage. Most of them does not use CSS selector, but it's also easy to use only. Okay, not a big deal, but and also it has a little bit actually what challenges that actually what it can travel from a parent to a child. But it cannot actually what travel from a child to a parent. Okay, so like that, it has some of its own disadvantage, but not a major disadvantage. So I will be giving you the sample code to you guys. Okay, which will be a good information for you to practice it. Okay, so I'll take this here. I already actually got it. Uh, save the HTML code. Let me take from there. Give me a minute. So our batch rate. So when I'll open in Firefox window, you guys already know actually what how to work on with actually what Chrome also. So I'll just show it in Firefox as of now. In case if you guys feel confusing, let me know so that I can shift also to Chrome. That's not a problem. So see the selector here. 
So here we have different ways to identify the element. See, one, the same thing in XPath, what are the things that we have seen? Same thing we're going to say. So identify the element with the help of the tag name and then with the help of the ID, class name, if it's a different attributes, okay? And then contains, and then starts with and ends with also we can use here. So in XPath, you can use only starts with, but here you can use ends with also, okay? Contains, it can be an approximate match, it can be of anything. Then siblings, then child or a grandchild. There is no option to find parent or the grandparent, but you can identify the actually what? The child's over there. Okay, child or the grandchild you can find. So these are different things. So simple to use for everything. I have given actually one example for you. Okay, for each and everything, how to identify the element, I have given an example where you can identify. So first thing, we'll go here. So this is my HTML section. Okay, so we have this input tag. Then after that, actually what I need to identify this username text box. So if I want to work on with CSS, first go to your fire path, change this information to CSS here. Okay, change this information to CSS. Now next actually what I need to actually what find the element information. Okay, so tag name. So in XPath we use actually what double forward slash. Here we use directly input. Okay, the tag name. So totally six matching modes are there with input, 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 input. Okay, six matching modes are there. So right now mine is actually what this username text box here. So this is what, does it ask any information? Yes, ID equal to user login. So can I utilize this? Yes. So in CSS selector, if I want to represent ID or class, I can directly give ID means Ash symbol, then give the property information like this. Now perfectly only one match. So Ash represents it's an ID. Okay, same thing if I want to go with actually what the class name. So class is there, right? So I will just give input dot, dot represents class, input dot input. See, there are two matching modes. That is one is for the username text box, Another one is for the password text box. Okay, so that's what here I have represent. See, if I want to use actually what the tag name, this is a tag name, right? Just give only the tag name. If it is ID, you can directly give the ash user login. Otherwise, tag name, give the ash symbol, then user login. Okay, class name is so simple, directly give dot. So class name is input button here directly give dot input button otherwise input dot input button that is if you are going to give information here only dot input that means the tag name can be anything but i'm expecting my class name should be input okay same thing user login ash user login when i give i'm saying actually what the tag name can be anything but I want my ID should be user login. Now, if I want to be step on that actually what my tag name should be input for that, the ID should be user login means I should give the tag name, then the ID information. That's how it should be given. Clear? Next, if I want to use property information, same as like we were using it in our uh, XPath, just give the information, see, input tag then i need to use id means id equal to user login in single code so there we were using it actually what other rate symbol right here we don't have other rate symbol directly we can utilize it like this that's what clear directly I can use actually what the name of the attribute and then the value of it so if i want to use actually what some other uh, for example P class forget me not. So for that, P tag open the square base class equal to single code forget me not. That's it. So from there, label we have and then the input tag. So if you want to go to the label, 
input like that means so label tag see that is there we use forward slash actually what to go to the child right here we use right angular bracket from the label tag if i want to go to the input tag input so what i'm doing is from the parent i'm going to the child then the child immediate checks okay so immediate child if i want to go i should use right angular bracket that's what i'm using clear now to use actually what multiple properties okay so how to use multiple properties so simple to use it over there see if i use okay i'll take this information this input tag uh, okay i'll do like this i'll take this guys so that's the best example so input tag so i'm going to use class equal to in single code input now there are two matches can you see this one and this one so i want to use perfectly some other attribute information also so that means so simple i'll take this actually what name is equal to log here here name is equal to pwd so i can use name is equal to log that's it see if i use like this it's actually what an and combination an input tag which has the property class is equal to input and name is equal to log it gives me actually what one matching node right now if i want an or condition instead of and just give a comma enter that is an input proper input tag can contain a class as input otherwise a name is equal to log if it is there get me the information clear or means an extra information comma should come and means don't give a comma that's the difference between multiple properties usage in css understood guys any questions so far if really question so yeah, please. In, in real life which one do you recommend us to use yes yes uh, so the thing is small small simple information i will suggest to go with css if it okay. is complicated and then it cannot be achieved with css then you can go for expert okay why because i told you css selector search is always faster correct okay. so it's always better to go with actually what css selector because now i'm talking about in the real time situation means it's like running actually what more than 100 200 scripts over there so when i am running actually what 100 to 200 scripts over there each and every second is valuable for me why because for expat when i search if it's taking actually what uh, one or two seconds for me to identify an element right so think over for 200 scripts so 200 scripts actually what each and every script might have actually what minimum uh, 10 or uh, 10 expat or something like that so that means so per script actually what it's like actually what i'm talking about 15 to 30 seconds actually what you can reduce using css okay minimum 15 to 20 seconds if you take also into actually what 200 scripts actually what it's going to reduce more than actually what an half hour of your time so if your script is running for actually what uh, 3 hours now you are going to reduce only because of the expat properties alone you are going to save your time for half hour mm. so that's the advantage actually what to use css selector thank you yeah good so always the preferable way is go with id or a class or a name or a link text okay so i will tell you when you come to the rename web driver i am again going to uh, take these informations for you which will give more understanding on this one why to choose these properties the final option is css or expat here okay guys okay good a good question man thank you so this is how to identify elements with the help of multiple properties correct so tomorrow we will see about absolute path relative path the parent and then child usage the siblings younger brother and elder brother 
approximate parent how to get, approximate child how to get, approximate search of a class or an ID, get the count of tax, get the last tag, identify the element with position or location, all those things actually what tomorrow we will see. Okay. So tomorrow class is important, I will say, because it's like so simple. Sales selector actually what uh, getting actually what in YouTube to find a uh, good video is a little bit tough. So that's why I will suggest actually what better to come for tomorrow and practice on the same day itself for CSS selector. CSS selector is damn easy, but the only thing is no one practices. That's why they feel CSS selector is tough. It's damn easy. Okay. Oh yes. Any questions for anyone for today's session? So Murali, you'll be showing the same syntax in Chrome browser also, right? Just uh, Chrome, I will check. Actually, I have not used with Chrome over there. Let me check whether it's possible to work on with Chrome. Because if, we don't use uh, XBath in Firefox for... Uh, that's okay. uh, let me check over there. If I'm able to get it, I will get it for you guys. Tomorrow I'll let you know. Okay. Okay. Good. Any questions for anyone, guys? Okay. Thanks, guys. So with this, I'll stop for today. Tomorrow, again, by 7.30, we will again connect. Okay. Thanks, guys. Uh, hey, Bharat, uh, you be there on the line. Yes. Yes. So we will have a five minutes break, and then we will again connect. Sounds good. Okay. Thanks, Bharat. See you.